My name is Ethan Wall, and I will be presenting Ai Weiwei, Art Under Tyranny. Ai Weiwei was born in 1957 and currently resides in Beijing, China. Throughout his life, he was passionate about being an activist and art, although to him they might be synonymous. He's famous for his artwork and his portrayal of the interaction between the Chinese government and its people, or lack thereof, and also for his work in the 2008 Olympics. Although criticized for the artwork he's created through his life, he's continued to be an activist for human rights, democracy, He was arrested for economic crimes against the government and beaten and detained in various locations, mainly because of who he was and his opinions against the Chinese government. His detainment was absolutely unlawful and, to us, unconstitutional. But this, well, they don't have the constitution in China. This in mind, Ai Weiwei was kept and held for 81 days. Only after the events of 2008 earthquake in China, and only after Ai Weiwei's reaction and his following exhibits that pointed out the inadequacies of the Chinese government and the lack of interaction between the infrastructure of the buildings that housed thousands of children, this earthquake destroyed those. Children died, and not just children, but throughout the country, the overall lack of infrastructure and proper methods to create earthquake-proof buildings were entirely ignored. Ai Weiwei later made more and more exhibits about the Chinese government and what they would do. Ai Weiwei, Never Sorry, was filmed by Alison Clayman and explores the life and ideas of Ai Weiwei. It received a special prize at the Sundance Festival in 2012 when it was revealed and throughout the film, she interviews his whole family, the people that knew him, basically everyone who was supporting him. It talks about his struggle and the detainment that he faced by the Chinese government, only for saying what he felt he needed to say. Throughout the world, Ai Weiwei is known as an activist and someone who stands up for what he believes in. Throughout the film, it's reinforced that one should uphold the main principles and overall ideas of what they feel is right and the level of transparency that is required between a government and its people for there to be peace between the two. Thank you.